Welcome back to Brotherhood Finance. The economy is soaring. Everybody is buying new cars, new homes, clothing, luxury items, accessories. Everything is going great. What could possibly happen? In today's video, we are going to be addressing how to prosper and benefit from a recession. Yes, you heard that correctly. You can actually benefit tremendously from a recession. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the preparation how to utilize a, a recession to get ahead and the steps and implementations you can put into your life to get ahead from a recession. Before we dive into that, make sure to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and furthermore, let's dive into this video right now. The year is 2022. Everybody is doing great. Again, they're buying luxury items, but as Warren Buffett says, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. So let's talk about this, the rules of the game. The economy is soaring, everybody is doing great. The GDP, gross domestic product, is doing good. Now what is the GDP? That is measuring how the economy is doing overall. So you take you know, people buying coffee, people buying cars, people buying homes, any luxury items, those all fit into the GDP. Now typically when the GDP is doing good, that means the economy is soaring, it's booming. It's 2022, the Fed just printed a lot of money, everything is doing great. What could possibly go wrong? Well, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about what is inevitable, and that is a recession. A recession is inevitable. It is going to happen eventually. We cannot time the market, but we know it is going to happen. So how can you benefit from this? Well, first off, let's backtrack. What is a recession? How does a recession happen? Now, typically a recession is made and marked as a recession when there's six months of negative GDP or gross domestic product. So what are the rules from this? How can you prepare? Number one is nobody can predict the market. So you're never really going to know when it's going to happen or when it exactly you, know, you should be preparing. But at the end of the day, you need to prepare. And we're gonna talk about how you can do that and how you can benefit and prosper from a recession. Number two, now this is the most important rule of this whole video. So make sure you take you know, key knowledge of this, is the market will always, and I mean always bounce back regardless time over time again we have seen you know we've gone through recessions we've gone through depressions now again we haven't had a recession since 2008 so this is going to be the key one when we're really into a recession and, and you know the, the economy is hurting people are having divorce deaths um and, and you know defaults and people are losing jobs you have to understand you know the money that you that you saved and the things that we're going to be talking about in this video you're ready to you know buy and you're ready to get in the market because again you know you have that mindset you have that financial education that the market will bounce back so the preparation how can you prepare for a recession now there's a multitude of things you want to do you want to try to stay out of debt you want to try to have as much liquidity as possible or cash on hand and you, you, you really want to have, you know, again, as I said, a good credit score and you want to be prepared um, mentally and, you know, really develop the right uh, principles and things you need to prosper in a recession. Because again, you never know when it's going to happen. Going back to, you know, rule number one and two, you can't time the market and you, you never know when it's going to happen. But not only that, it's an inevitable that there's going to eventually be a recession. The market has to correct. Last time we saw a correction was in 2008. So how you can benefit and prepare for it is you need to figure out what you wanna do. And basically you need to have liquidity and cash on hand, try to stay out of debt. You know, if you have any debt, have good debt, have a good credit score and be ready to you know, really deploy, as I like to call it, your war chest. Because you want to be greedy when others are fearful, as Warren Buffett likes to say. You want to buy when there's blood in the streets. That's the best way to get a return on investment. Now, part three is the collapse. Now, we don't know exactly when that's going to happen again, but there is going to be a collapse. You're going to see a multitude of things happen. You're going to be seeing you know, mortgage forbearances. You're going to be seeing people losing their jobs. You're not going to see people you know, going out and increasing that gross domestic product by going out and buying more goods and services. So that's also another thing. Um, but, you know, as Walt Disney likes to say, I thought this was kind of comical. I've heard there's going to be a recession. I've decided not to participate. Now, what are the three things that happen during a recession? Those three things are death, divorce, and defaults. In 2008, there was a total of 2.6 million jobs that were lost during the last global recession. And that was in 2008. 
and I think this bubble that we're currently in is actually quite more significant than the one that happened in 2008 for a multitude of reasons. Now, some of those reasons are, you know, the Fed praying a multitude, you know, excess, a very excess amount of cash, really getting ahead and not utilizing their balance sheet correctly. We have more student loan debt, more consumer debt, more credit card debt. That's why it's imperative to have the right financial IQ, you know, build up a good war chest, get prepared, have a good credit score, and all of those things that we've addressed. So how can you profit from a recession? Now, you know, you may not really, you know, overcomplicate this, but Profiting from a recession is really not as difficult as you may think. The best way to really do so is to invest right back into that very same economy that you are in. Now, people are going to look at you. They're going to question your, your, you know, your thoughts and why you're doing that. But you know rule number two, and that is the market will always bounce back. And that's something you need to keep in mind is that the economy will always bounce back. It will always bounce back. So you want to be buying when there's blood in the streets. You're gonna be doing the opposite of your psychology. When the market is down, you're going to be buying. And this all goes back to our principle at Brotherhood Finance that we like to talk about, and that is buy low and sell high. That is the best way to increase your return on investment. If you've watched the video this far, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you've not done so already. Again, I'm not sure exactly when a recession is going to occur, but this is very valuable knowledge that you can utilize to really get yourself ahead because quite frankly, the most wealth and you know, obtaining financial freedom is the most aptable and you know, best way to do so during a recession, believe it or not. The more motivated they are to sell, the cheaper they will sell it for. So this accounts for real estate. This, this accounts for their stocks. Again, people are going to have a hard time. You have to understand they're losing their jobs. They're having financial struggle in a recession. That is going to be the most time they are prompted to want to sell for a cheaper price. Right now, we're seeing real estate. We're seeing a lot of other things that, with high valuations. If you want to get a better valuation, you'll be able to buy low and sell high. And that's going to be when we're in a recession. So again, the three rules that you need to remember are number one, the market will always crash. Number two, the market will always bounce back. And number three, you can never really time the market. But based off this video, you understand that you need to build up a war chest, have a good credit score, try to stay out of consumer debt and, and student loan debt or whatever it may be, and really you know, develop a game plan of principles and methods that you're going to implement when the recession occurs because it's only a matter of time before it happens. Again, brothers, I appreciate you watching this video. If you found value, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Are we on the brinks of a collapse here soon? What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? I appreciate you watching this video all the way through. If you've not done so already, make sure to check out Brotherhood Finance merch. Down below, we'll have our links. If you've not become a member also, we have a multitude of perks such as uh, merch discounts, um, website courses for discounted prices, uh, early access to videos. You can join our Discord if you want to pick our brains. Um, we really talk to the, me and the other CEO. Again, I appreciate watching this video. Have a good rest of your day. Peace, brothers.